Ashley Esqueva, and it's time for another installment of Just Show Me on Tekka TV, where we take your tech toys and gadgets and show you how to get the most out of them. Today, we're going to give you a short tour of Google Docs. Now, one of the best parts about Google Docs is sometimes office software can be really expensive. And if you're just making basic documents that you have to send to a friend or if you're writing a letter, Google Docs is a great free option for those of you who need to make something simple and get it to either a coworker or a friend. Make sure that you have a Google account set up and you can go to google.com and hit the sign in button in the upper right corner to go ahead and get started with your new Google life. So let's check out Google Docs by going to docs.google.com. So you can see there are different things like create, home, starred. Now we haven't created a doc yet, so let's go ahead and do that. We're going to hit the giant create button, which is fantastic. And once we do that, we'll get a drop down list and it will ask us what kind of document would we like to create. And you have some pretty cool options here. You can make a document like you would in Word or iWork. You can make a presentation, which is like a PowerPoint. You can make a spreadsheet like you would in Excel. And you can also make a form, drawing, or a collection, which is basically a folder to store documents in Google Docs in. So for right now, we'll, we'll keep it simple and we'll start a new document. So go ahead and hover over that and click on it. And you'll get a new window to open up and it will have untitled document and you'll see it looks just like a normal word processing program, except it's online, which is really cool. If you wanna name your document, go ahead and hover over the untitled document title, which is right next to the Google Docs logo and click on it. You'll get a pop-up that'll allow you to rename your document. So I'm gonna call this just show me. Tekka, just show me. So once we do that, you can see we've got a cursor in our screen asking us to go ahead and type something. Next week on Just Show Me, adding an account on Mac. So once we've done that, we definitely want to share that with the other people that we do Just Show Me with. So I'm going to go ahead and go to the top right corner hover over the share button and go ahead and click on it. At this point, you'll get a pop-up message asking you to add somebody to share the document with. So we're gonna add our good friend, Barb. So we're gonna put in her email address and we can actually choose right next to her name if she can edit the document or just view the document. So if you don't want somebody to edit something you've created, you can still share it with them and they won't be able to make changes to it. And you can check off, send a copy to yourself, paste the item itself into the email, or send email notifications, which that one is already checked by default because if you don't tell them that it's being shared with them, how are they ever gonna know to make those changes? At that point, you can click on the share and save button and it will say sharing. And you can see Barb has been added to the list of people that are in our sharing. Now sharing is on a per document basis. So if you share something with Barb in one document, it doesn't mean that it applies to everything you've created in Google Docs. But sharing is a great tool for collaborating with somebody on a project, especially if you can't get your schedules quite aligned to get together for a brainstorming session, whether it's via the internet or on the phone or in person. So Google Docs makes it very easy to collaborate and there are so many different features you can format any way that you'd like, just like you would in a regular word processing software program. That's been Just Show Me on Tekka TV. Be sure to check out Tekka.com for all of our other content, and we'll see you next time.